And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Malphite Garen. We're going to be playing another uh, Demacia Targon list with some big beefy champion finishers with Malphite and Garen. Um, how these two really synergize together is that if you have Garen leveled up, then round start rally and Malphite has you know, round start if you have the attack token, which you will have round start rally, you'll be able to create the unstoppable force. You'll be able to um, every single round start with the attack token and an unstoppable force if you have both Malphite and Garen leveled up together. So, um, so that's going to be kind of the plan there. Um, so as far as leveling up Malphite goes for the... Um, for the landmarks, we're going to be doing like we have like we have done before. We're going to have three of these Eye of the Rohorix, because this gets you 10 mana towards leveling up Malphite. And then you just need one more. And so we're going to have two Grand Plazas and two Spiral Stairs. Going to be the first time playing the Spiral Stairs. Going to be trying this out. Um, getting a permanent th plus three, plus two buff and Overwhelm is really nice. And that Overwhelm works great with both Garen and Malphite. That's a really that's really nice. But we had to pay a pretty steep price for that it costs three mana like three regular mana for that and then you also have to wait three turns three rounds that's going to be a pretty steep price and so it may be and then like at this point it's slow and it's fleeting so hopefully you have one of those champions in play right that turn and then hopefully they can't respond with slow speed i don't know there's a lot of downsides here to this card so but we're going to try it out because like i said it is it is quite powerful if it does work but maybe just playing another grand plaza and then just playing like some zenith blades uh, they can draw a card. Maybe that would just be a lot more useful for instead of just, you know, extra two power for all the stuff you have to deal with with the Spiral Stairs. Um, but we're going to play it because it, it is like the three plus mana for the Malphite also. So we're we're uh, going to go ahead and uh, try it out. But comparing this to Zenith Blade is kind of silly. <laughs> they, they really did not make the landmarks that good. Um, but we need landmarks for Malphite. So let's try it out. Let's see, besides that, we got our, our two drops. Blue Sentinel is another way to put a two cost landmark into play to help level up Mal Malphite, plus get us that extra mana to get towards Malphite. So we got a couple of those, some Egghead Researchers. Both of these should be very good blockers against Sand Soldiers um, as well. Then Egghead Researcher gives us some more dragons at the top end. We'll have a little bit of a Celestial theme so that we can fit Star Shaping in here. So we'll have Star Shaping plus the Fangs plus Solari Priestess as ways to make um, Celestials. Because with Star Shaping, you need to play more Celestials than just Star Shaping, because both the 7, I guess the 7, 8, and 9 mana spells, all of the, those spells need you to behold a Celestial. And so we got a few, so that's why we're playing like the Fangs instead of playing um, the 5-4 Daybreak Lifesteal. Even though that card's better, we're single combat, but we need more Celestials, so we're playing the Fangs, we're playing Priestess. And then we also have the Star Tip Beacon here, again, to be able to, another card that can get us a couple Celestials, and also another card for the, the two mana landmark for um, the Malphite. Uh, but that's going to be kind of it. So, like, we're, we're starting defensive, um, kind of staying alive, and then hoping our two champions can really uh, take over the game, and then also the Celestial cards as well. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Malphite Garen. We'll go play our five games in Ranked. So I kind of want to keep an eye of the Rohorik just because that levels up Maokai, but... I said Maokai, sorry, Malphite. But no. Draven Ezreal can be pretty aggressive. Love Blue Sentinel here. It doesn't match up against the three drops, but yeah, so I love that. <clears throat> okay, so we get the two cost landmark for Malphite. Now, we don't have like the best use of that extra landmark right now, but it's gonna be an extra spell mana, right? Like we'll play this. Now we have the two spell mana. Let's get Traveler. So of course that works out real well. Because now I can go Traveler on 4, and then Garen on 5, and I'll still have Sharp Sight the whole time. I 
don't know, Supernova is enticing, but let's just get more travelers. Eh. Eh. Fizzle. They're down to four cards, and I got six cards. That's the, the main thing right now. So, so far we're doing good cards-wise. Can't really protect Garen right now, but oh well, I guess. So they could have thermogenic beam, something like that. But it's gonna be t like I'm gonna have to wait a little while. If I'm if my whole plan is, um, you know, wait till I can play Garen with Bash. I'm gonna have to wait a little while. And we have like these star shapings that like have the top end anyway. So even if they are gonna be killing my Garen, I think it's worth it. Six drop. So for for four spell mana, you get a seven seven that can't take damage from enemy spells or skills, as well as Heretic. as well as killing the opponent's champion, their five five champion. For four for just that spell mana, that is crazy good. The good thing is, like, we're, we're never going to run out of Travelers. My journey ends. We shall have infinite Travelers. That card's good. I need Fallen Combat against Captain Farron, or do I just keep going Traveler? It is enticing to just continue to go Travelers. I don't know, maybe I take the Fallen Combat. Captain Farron. Thermogenic Beam. Oh right, I have to play that with Daybreak. I forgot I forgot about like the whole Daybreak part of that card, because I played this thing with the Daybreak. That's fine. Still that's fine. <laughs> Still fine. Yeah, so I was I was planning on stunning. Yes, this even though this doesn't take damage, it would still get stunned. Right, so like that's that was my plan. Was still just on that. Okay. Now I should have taken the other traveler. Cause now here's a falling comment. Now Malphite's leveled up.
Okay. With a little time, I'll have a break. Malfight. There is Malfight. I am Malfight. The party has arrived. Finally, someone cool. So it's two mana to stun those other enemies. Just be patient. I am superior life form. Don't like that card. Yeah, I didn't attack with Malphite because um, I didn't want to give them an easy kill with Scorched Earths and stuff like that, and I didn't really want to use Bash in this turn. That's what I was thinking. So that's another six damage to me. Put me down to six. And that'll do. Just gotta stay alive. Good job, Star Shapings. Zillion Lissandra. Okay. So they're gonna be a countdown deck. Um That card's gotta go. Is there like two good spells and then my seven mana champion? I'm just gonna keep sharp sight. And then kinda see what, what happens. That's definitely what I did not want to see, you know, turn one frozen thrall. Uh, don't wanna see that. Okay, so we're kind of hoping the Fangs can find, like, Equinox to at least get rid of the Overwhelm of this thing. Oh no, another, another one of those? I really want to trade the fangs for uh, that thing. Frozen Thrall is suddenly really good. <laughs> suddenly really good. Because yeah, like the the this deck with the Frozen Thralls, that's really cool. But it's just, what do you do if you don't have Frozen Thrall, right? It's I'm not sure how this deck wins too much without Frozen Throw.
Um. All the stuff's gonna die anyway. So it takes away a mana gem from them. I don't know why they didn't just kill their 2 2 that was about to die. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Can't make that block. Draclorn's too important. Too bad it's not a Draclorn anymore. I kind of feel like, like maybe they have like a combat spell, like a troll chant or something like that, so I won't have my golden sister die to a combat spell. We'll have the elusive die instead. Okay. We'll just have that happen. My heart and sword for the muscle. I don't really need to play the Eckhead Researcher. I'm going to keep Sharp Sight available. Plan is next round Broodmother plus Sharp Sight Witch. Honestly, I probably should just play the Broodmother last round instead of the Garen, and then I could have open attacked with the Fury Scout. What was working out? They have nothing that's lethal either way. I'll keep the lifesteal thing alive. Okay. No champs. No champs. This is my other dog, Harvey. He's usually a off screen. She's the one that's always scratching my chair if I'm not petting her though. She's she, she's usually like down here that I'm petting her down with my left hand. Come here. Okay. No champs. I don't know about keeping the Grand Plaza. My favorite new champion so far, I'd just say is Malphite, honestly. Yeah, I've, I've been. Yeah, I think that's my favorite of the three champions. I, I like playing Malphite decks, and um, we've had a lot of success with them. And the Malphite Leona looked great. We had the Malphite Zillion that went 4 1. We're 2 0 now with uh, Malphite Garen. Yeah, I'd say Malphite. Just gonna put this here. Back heretic. Better run. Okay, so we got our next few turns planned out. Garen, Golden Sister, Malphite. 
Turn five, six, seven. With one sharp sight. Hopefully that's good enough. We can break into our reg regularly scheduled game plan at any time with the star shapings. And maybe that's what I do next round. Round six is just go star shaping, and so that round seven I can play Golden Sister with them both having the plus one, plus zero, and Challenger. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. The wicked must fall. So Boom Rookie attacking would do a one-time two damage to us. If I don't get rid of this Ballistic Bot though, it will create like one damage round after round. And in order for this Boom Rookie to do the two damage, they do have to suicide it into the Garen and allow me to level up my Garen. If I do play Golden Sister next round. That'd be good against Boom Crew. one. It said, Garen is the most vanilla champ in the game. Change my mind. Um, I think there's probably a more vanilla champion. I'm thinking, though. I'm trying to, trying to think of one, but there's probably one. What do I think about Karma and Zillion? Um, Zillion doesn't create. Yeah, the the time. Okay, so the time bombs aren't. Hey, there you go. Pockets here. Just just sub like the other day too. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know exactly how well they'd go together. Like Ionia, Sharima. Like you're gonna need a, a defensive deck. Um, they're not spells, so they don't they don't really synergize that well together. Thought about using Sharp Side on the Golden Sister. Why did Garen not attack? I don't know. I'm sorry. Um. You can you can recall Zillion with spells to create more bombs. Yeah, I guess, I guess you can do that. Let's make it deep. I guess so. Um, I'm not sure. It just ha like I just I don't know if it has like good enough defense to stop like aggressive decks. I don't know, like staying alive. Would be something I'd be worried about. So many ballistic bots. And I don't know if like Karma adds a lot. Like Ionia doesn't have very much card draw to help find bombs. Like the only card would be Shadow Assassin, because Deep Meditation doesn't find bombs and and the um, the other three mana two two doesn't find bombs, it draws spells. This doesn't feel like Ionia is a very good region. Like it doesn't feel like Ionia adds enough to to complement, but I mean you can always try it out. Maybe you need a closer look. This is a bad play. 
So I'm, sp I'm spending eight mana just to keep another four three life steal in play. You cannot stall judgment. I think Zillion and Swain have potential. I don't think that it's... I think it's too early to, to call a deck like that bad. I think that's a, a deck that takes time to um, figure out exactly what kind of interaction that you need to play and, and exactly what cards to play and how to put it together and everything like that. But I think they do have um, some good potential together. I would not say that that's a, a deck that's bad. Cheaper units to challenge these stupid bonds. Well, I you probably didn't have a very good list, Henner. You said you tried Zillion and Swain and it's bad. That'd be my guess. We did just fine with Zillion and Swain. It felt just fine. I think we went three and two and, and ranked with it. I just can't play you, Malphite. I'm sorry. I really want to. I want to play you so bad, but we can't. This card came from Unspeakable Horror. They got another, they got some kind of invoke card in hand from that. It's not as easy as just saying like, like Zillion's a bad champ. Like it's not, it's not a bad champ. It's not as easy as just saying this is good, this is bad. It's not like you, there's just two boxes and you just put put it in a good box or a bad box. Like it's like, that's it. I don't know, it's so much, so much more complex than that. It's just not, it's not that useful to just think of like this good, this bad. Because there's there's just so many different scenarios where things can be good or bad, um, but just much more complex. Just throwing labels like that isn't isn't useful. So the mana is not going to matter, but uh, it will at least still help the Malphite get leveled up a little bit more. So much mana. Nine. Blech. Join me if you want to live. Save the disengage. Planning to perfection. Spell shield. That's why you play a card like Unspeakable Horror. Unspeakable Horror just creates the Lunari Priestess that suddenly you have this like huge Great Beyond in like this random little burn deck that shouldn't have a threat like that. I guess it would have maybe been just a lot easier for me just to play Malphite and Challenge. No, because Malphite's only a 7-10. So never mind, yeah, I wouldn't have killed this thing. I'm out of gas as far as... Um... You know, he, he, protecting my Nexus, like healing my Nexus is concerned th through burn spells, but of course they only have four cards left and they're also at one life and uh, we got this, the Destroya, so. Time for the Overwhelm with the Destroyer just to finish this out. I'm gonna let my opponent go out their way. No refunds. All right. Let's see how we do against this super aggressive deck. Maybe we'll do good, maybe not. I'm not sure. All right, so Egghead Researchers can do some blocking. We're going to need to find like some removal or some bigger stuff, but they also can kind of help find some bigger stuff also. And Sharp Sight's just a card that you just always keep. The more we learn, the less we fear. It's kind of a surprising non-attack. Not the egg. 
I'm not going to use Sharp Sight yet. Okay, so playing the uh, Grand Plaza out here, so now we got these two, three challengers with the Egghead Researchers. <laughs> yeah, Misfortune can level up in a turn. And we did do that a couple of times. Alright, good card there with the Blossoming Blade. Keep their sparring student alive. What is this? I can hush sparring student and challenge it and kill it. Is that worth a hush? I guess that's maybe worth a hush. Cause they also they play like you know like the bigger like the inspiring marshal they're gonna want hush for. I think I'm just going to pass. You said we dance together again someday. How could we have known it would be like this? Fly true with one heart to another. do we do? Kind of any line I take, there's answers to any line I take, and I... Um, that's obviously going to block there. What is this? I need to do just hush this thing. can't block because if we block then they get to play the blade surge. But we got got that card out of their hand. The protection card, you know, so now one less protection card for Aurelia. Blue Sentinel's been okay. It hasn't been as amazing as I thought it could be, just in general. But it's it's been pretty good. I've been I've been very happy with Blue Sentinel. Like in this list, uh, I played Blue Sentinel on another list before that I wasn't as happy with. Um, but yeah, I, I think that Blue Sentinel is pretty good. Obviously, they're going to be recalling the Irelia. but does let me kill the sparring student. If they would have played, you know, another thing out, you know, it would have the serpent, but we just didn't need to play the serpent because they didn't play anything else out. Show them no weakness. So I can just kind of wait on the serpent. Play. 
I was, of course, hoping that they would do it with the Blue Sentinels, so then I'd have this thing. It's a good card. Not a bad card at all. Not a bad card at all. The Emperor's favor upon you. So they're gonna attack with Inspiring Marshal. Just in case they pass, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to pass, but I kind of want to keep Sharp Side available for an attack. Also. I guess that's the time to use that card, but now I have to... Now I got to do this. Now I have to commit. Do I have another special card in hand? I do not. Blue Sentinel would have been dead. What terrors must we face up here? Would have had Sharp Sight. We face them together. That was pretty nice. That was really nice. Should have played the Fuse Firebrand with the Spell Shield. I didn't think about that card. Yeah, that was good. we win this but you know only three cards left gotta hope they're out of protection my plan here is um sharp sight single combat try to kill this inspiring marshal looking for a daring escape Only two cards. Hopefully no no ways to return. Just let this happen. Alright, that's big. Every blade, every beat in its place. This is gonna be still very difficult to win. With Aurelia replacing. Hold back the darkness. Yeah, maybe we got this. Yeah, I guess we got this. Alright, cool. 4 0. Radiant Guardian. Lifesteal tough. Okay, we get to replay that matchup. Last time it went great for us, they had no Azir. It went great for us, so let's I don't know if it'll go that well again. Plucky Poro is awesome in this meta. Is Plucky Poro the tough one? Plucky Poro sounds tough. Yeah, you forgot. You forgot our 
that we had Malphite in the deck. <laughs> yeah, it's just I think Demacia Targon's really well positioned against this Irelia deck, and now we're probably you know like we're not like the best version of Demacia Targon against this deck, right? Like we're playing Spiral Stairs and you know some nonsense like that. But I think overall. Um, I think probably doesn't attack. Yeah, you can't attack like that. I want Equinox against Inspiring Marshall. No, not necessarily. I would say Zillion's a weaker version of Frel Yord to pair along with Swain. Not necessarily. Necessarily. Shurima can give you some good card advantage. You got the 4-3 the Challenger in Shurima. I don't know if you're playing enough of that card. Gotta play that gotta play three of those. The Merciless Hunter. That was a card I underrated very first day. I may not have had in my deck. We Ionians always remember those who came before us. They can't really attack though, can they? I guess they can. Radiant Obviously, I'd like to play Radiant Guardian this turn. But that's difficult to do. He's going to be a 6 health. a lot better when they didn't have his ear. Damn, but yeah, now this thing levels up. Looked a lot better when they didn't have his ear. Back heretic. I guess, I mean, I should just block the Aurelia, we just save a life. Like, we don't need to block... Yeah, like, I would've just saved all my opponent, just blocked Aurelia. It could be a 10. We'll see if that matters. That should be a 10. So there's seven cards in hand. They are gonna block. Zero makes the stick. Something else. I will end this here. What are you doing, Swap? I guess Sand Soldiers stay alive, that's why. The blade doesn't stay alive.
We just have the third Azir. What a life. What a life. Alright, four and one. I was like, why didn't they just switch? But yeah, they just have the third Azir. Yeah, that's that's where that deck gets really unfair, is whenever you have Azir <laughs> and all that other stuff. Alright, but still 4-1 in ranked with Malphite Garen, you know, and 1-1 against that deck. And we we were playing we had spiral stairs in our hand, just <laughs> look at like look at like what happened with like with that game and just thinking of like trying to even cast spiral stairs is is pretty hilarious. They did not make the landmarks very good <laughs> in this in this expansion. But yeah, you know, this is just going to be a pretty decent deck. I mean, Blue Sentinel, Egghead Researcher, Solari Priestess, they all did really good. Especially Solari Priestess getting us um, very good Celestial cards. But, like, they were good blockers for the early game. Um, you know, sometimes we had the Grand Plaza, which helped out with the Challenger. But then, you know, just curving those into the Fangs and then Radiant Guardian, Malphite, and... Or, sorry, Garen, Malphite. Um, our one Radiant Guardian was, was pretty nice. It came in clutch a couple of times. Bastion was a little expensive for us to use. Uh, couldn't didn't really ever use Bastion. Star Tip Peak didn't seem to matter too much either. Um, I I think I would probably get rid of the Spiral Stairs and the Star Tip Peak and the Bastions. Yeah, I think we could just probably get rid of Bastions and just kind of have more threats and more early stuff. Probably um, probably a third Grand Plaza, but maybe not. I, I was happy with that Blue Sentinel. I think that card worked out fairly well. Um, maybe play like some. Uh, you know, maybe a copy of Ranger's Resolver too. That could be pretty nice against all these like little things attacking. And then like the you know maybe another copy of like the five four that gets life steal. You know, just like that kind of stuff. Um, just maybe some more like blockers and defensive things, and then uh, removal. Like so maybe the five four that gives life steal, and and then maybe Cataclysm. You know, try to think like other ways to kill Azir. Azir's Azir's pretty rough. Because it has so much health. It's not like single combat doesn't like necessarily allow you to kill Azir. Tis a little rough, but that's alright. Um, but yeah, that was Malphite Garen, putting those together. Unfortunately, we didn't get to have both leveled up Malphite and leveled up Garen in play at the same time. That's kind of like what we were trying to do. Um, you know, get, get both of those in play for the round start rally and the stun. You know, being able to have both of those um, all the time. That would have been nice. But... Um, yeah, that, that's going to be, uh, yeah, that's going to be it here for Malphite Garen. A good record, good 4-1. and one. We'll take that for Master's Rank every time. All right, but that's going to be it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.